a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before. Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day. Using all their senses, skills, creativity, they're to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. If ever a challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, there is a man whom Iron Chef Chen considers his rival. The man is a rising star in Shanghai cuisine in Japan, Sozo Miyamoto. Chen and Miyamoto received a lot of attention when they were in their 20s as future flag bearers of Chinese cuisine in Japan. Naturally, they look upon each other as rivals. Three years ago, these two chefs came head to head in direct competition at the Chinese Cooking World Championship held in mainland China. In the individuals category, neither Chen nor Miyamoto held back and as a result both won silver medals. Well, Miyamoto-san, uh, among Shanghai-style chefs, you know, he's uh, one of the rising stars. I always have to keep an eye on him. Well, Chen San is by far the best in his field, you know. Without doubt, these two are indeed destined rivals. So I propose they settle the score with a final battle in my kitchen stadium and find out who is truly the greater. Once again, let me introduce the challenger, Iron Chef Chen's lifetime rival, head chef of Hilton Tokyo Bay, Sozo Miyamoto. Miyamoto came across Shanghai-style Chinese food 20 years ago when he joined the kitchen of Tokyo Hanten in Ginza. At age 32, while serving as sous chef of the Tokyo Hilton's Chinese restaurant, he underwent a major breakthrough. Though based on traditional techniques, his choice of ingredients and presentation clearly signify his pursuit of originality. I maintain Shanghai flavors, but I constantly propose new recipes combining other elements. I consider my cooking basic and neo Sichuan food. I always have both elements, and that applies to Miyamoto-san's food too. He's a devoted student of all styles, including even Cantonese and Sichuan. And he has the skills to harmonize those elements in his Shanghai dishes. Challenger Miyamoto is now serving at the Hilton Tokyo Bay Hotel in Urayasu, constantly giving birth to the most advanced Shanghai food in the world. So now, Miyamoto, prepare yourself to meet your destiny and let us see if you can take down your rival. Representing all Shanghai-style chefs, I cannot afford to lose. I'll do my best. It's going to be incredible. I have to watch out that I don't get overwhelmed by his dishes. So doing my best, that's all I can do.
中華料理界に新風を巻き起こすヌーベル上海の大物がやってまいりました鉄人陳の永遠のライブさあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください東京ベイヒルトン王朝総料理長宮本創造 All right, entering the stadium, a silver medal winner in the World Chinese Cooking Championships, as was Iron Chef Chen. Today, three years on, they'll settle it. Find out who's number one. どうもようこそいらっしゃいました。それでは早速我が美食アカデミーが誇る三人の鉄人を登場させましょう。よみがえるアイアンシェフ。Ascending in the kitchen stadium, the nation's culinary leaders, your Iron Chefs. Iron Chef Chinese, Chen Kenichi, Iron Chef French, Hiroyuki Sakai, and Iron Chef Japanese, Roksaburo Michiba. Here they stand, the invincible men of culinary skills. So, so let's go. Who will fight? Chen-san, please. Chen-san, please. Absolutely, it'll be must-see TV for not only Chinese cuisine chefs, but all folks keen on Chinese food. Iron Chef Chinese Chen Kenichi, son of the god of Sejuan cooking, Chen Kenmin, the Sejuan sage coming into this one having won ten straight, but against his longtime rival, the pressure will be immense. Nubel Shizhen and Nubel Shanghai. Young, they were on the top of the top. I was just a little bit of a challenge. 出してみました最先端の2人とはちょっとかけ離れた最も古典的な中華料理に使われるあの魚ですそれでは発表します今日のテーマはこれです今日のテーマ来い Memory serves me right. The ancient Chinese beauty Yang Kuifei absolutely enjoyed this portion of the cart under the golden embroidery. Golden embroidery, in other words, the scales of the cart. Yang Kuifei loved the succulent gelatin located under the scales. Gourmets will tell you that this portion is undoubtedly. The very best part, better than the fillet itself. So let me remind you, when eating carp, remember to look under the golden embroidery. All right, an incredible matchup could turn out to be a battle for the ages. Iron Chef Chen, the Sichuan sage, against the Neo Shanghai cuisine of his rival challenger Miyamoto. With carp, the theme, we are set. So let's get it on. Out of season. Gong, we are on. Chen and Miyamoto, two guys at the top of their game, a head-on clash to determine who's number one nationally in Chinese cuisine. Expressions of uneasiness from both men after the unveiling of the theme ingredient. Carp live in the tank, and the men up there at the stand using nets to take their haul. And these are alive and kicking. And that tank is loaded for carp. Iron Chef unloading that one, and now going back for another. As is Miyamoto、Whoa. and Doc. Yeah. In China, I understand、uh, there's a lot of symbolism associated with carp, so、uh, rather appropriate that they deal with it today. Exactly, and it's、uh, very true in Japan as well. But actually, in China, carp is considered the king of fish. So this is number one. Yeah, this is the definitive ingredient for a classic Orthodox Chinese dish. All right, and one of them down and being tossed back in for a rinse. And now let's meet our guests for today's battle. First, former Giants pitcher, baseball commentator Takahiko Besho. Welcome. My pleasure. To be here. And a classy lady who fits right in with today's theme, actress Chizuru Azuma. I wonder what that means. <laughs> And our commentator, Dr. Yuki Ohatori. Doc. Always a pleasure. Now, Beshosan, what about carp? Besides striking them out,、uh, what dishes do you? Whoa! Look at that. <laughs> that's how you knock them out. <laughs> well, what the, the challenger is doing there, as you can see, that's how he's hitting the fish with the back of the knife. Right. That? That's actually、uh, the、what? normal way of doing it.、Uh, well, now with fish in the sea, you drain the blood. Uh, correct. Right.、Yeah. And, and do you do that? I think he just did it. Yeah. I, I believe so. Yeah. He drained the blood. 
Okay, now here on Chen's side, scaling it. There's lots of different ways to do that. Okay, but the Let's Iron see. Chef getting the scales off quickly. Oh, I feel sorry for this fish. You do? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, eating always has to start here, you know. Man, putting muscle with hustle in the prep work in Beshosan. Uh, the Iron Chef's won his last 10 battles. Oh, yeah, that's what great. What a streak there. You would take it for the Giants. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I always watch the show, getting the feeling I'm watching the Japan series. Seventh game here. Yeah, fighting for the top. <laughs> but uh, with these two guys today, we'd have to call it the China series. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, from the floor, she needs to go. Thank you. I asked Challenger Miyamoto what he thinks of today's ingredient. He said these carp are top quality. I'm even more motivated to do a good job and turn them into something All special. All right, carp or koi, same pronunciation for the word meaning love affair, and that's what he'll try to have with this fish today. Wants this love affair to last at least 60 minutes. <laughs> oh, I see some almonds. Okay, right here on the Challenger side, sliced almonds. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Fry, cook, cook them. Okay, he's got a tray full over there. And iron chef. Watch it. It's hot. Watch it. Kerp, plunk. Yes, there he goes. Oh. A whole carp. Oh, dynamic. Yeah. Yeah. This carp in a hot pond right there. And you know, with this fish, you need to fry it probably, I'd say, about three times to get it done nicely all the way to the bone. Oh, yeah. that's so really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you'll see them repeat this process. And Besho san, don't want to be trying this at home, do you? Uh, I feel privileged to be able to witness this firsthand. You can't do this at home. No, couldn't do it at my place either. <laughs> he needs lots of firepower. No, need exactly. To be yeah. Yeah. Heat. <laughs> yes. I asked Iron Chef Chen what he thinks about the challenger, and he told me that they know each other well. He says too well, in fact, and that makes it a little difficult. But he says I am having fun doing this battle, and of course I don't want to lose. I hope this one becomes a classic, a great match to watch. Turning out to be so far, and just like in any field of endeavor, Besho san, with rivals, rivals up, you can never grow. Right. Yes. And and uh, just not just in sports, the same thing applies to cooking, I'm sure. Okay, Chen and Miyamoto, these two go back a long way. Both have been in the spotlight from the early days of their careers. And look at that, Iron Chef side, fried and one done. And how about that one? <laughs> he's got that uh, triple treatment for the meat inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Well, he's made some slits on the surface, so then by frying, right. um, they open up. Like right, that. exactly, yeah. Now here, Chen and... Uh, black eggs? Okay, piton eggs. Right, piton, piton? sure. Okay, they're, as oh. they're known oh. in China. Oh, hang no. on, no, not black eggs. No. Right? No, it's a different color. Yeah, different. Okay, we'll try and get that, hands. but here on the Challenger side... Uh, some sort of marinade. Also yeah. frying up the carp here. That's, that's something different there. Just half the fish. The front part with the head getting a hot oil splash and bath right here. Miyamoto doing this. Oh. Mm -hmm. Just the head and the, the front part, the uh, upper torso there, <laughs> if you will. Taking it off now. Mmm, smells good. Mm, does smell good. Yeah, and Iron Chef Chen now hunkered down again over his wok. Can get some ginger there. Yes. The paste or sauce that you see on Chen San's wok is called La Jiao Zhang. Okay, so not Toban right. uh, uh -huh. the hot bean paste. And now okay. some flamola right there coming from the Iron Chef. Not on a grand scale. And for Kusan? It's gone, yes. Challenger Miyamoto has an assortment of colored ingredients, red and yellow bell peppers, Belgium chicory, or English on these, if you prefer, which is a very Western ingredient. We're going to see some great looking uh, presentations. He's also combined those with tofu and other exotic ingredients All as well. All right, well, we'll see what he comes up with. Now, take a look at Chin here. That's a good looking sauce he's got. Yes. Yeah. Wonderful, doesn't it? Complex. It, that's a very good word to describe. From his yeah. Sejuan playbook. Mm -hmm. The paste was um, uh, la, la, la Jiao Zhan. Okay, la, la Jiao Zhan. All right, and the taste of that, Doc? Uh, again, a very spicy, very hot. So okay. now he just fried it lightly. I see what he's going to do here. He's going to stew the carp further. Mm, I think you're right. Okay, stewed carp with a kick, and now Miyamoto. Added some fried items in there, too. Yeah, the fried fish. Fried, whoa, oh. look at that. Oh, <laughs> Smoking kind of job, or no. so. Oh, the flammability oh. factor oh. increasing now. Oh. Courtesy of Jeez. Challenger Sozo, Miyamoto, the flamathon is on. <laughs> Got it quelled, though, and now here, let's... Hmm. Stewing, maybe? All right. uh, I think it's doing, yeah. Filling it up with water? Mm, yes. And what was behind putting that lid on the mixing bowl? There? I think he added some sort of spirits to do away with the smell. Well, check uh, that out. They do things like that. Uh, but, Doc, now he's adding just water, uh, not any kind of soup. Wait a minute, you're just water? Yeah, yeah, just plain water. Really? Still, I think this will turn out to be a great stew. Now, the Iron Chef is frying the carp once again, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yes, go ahead, Ota. Yeah, Iron Chef Chen says that, uh, or he explains that he's frying it this way to take away most of the fishy smell, yes. All right, getting rid of the smell of this fish. Mm. Very important. Uh, deodorizing <laughs> effort by the Iron Chef. Well, you know, the worst thing a chef can do is fail to remove the smell of Got fish. Got that right. Yes. <laughs> right, that's the key to this fish, definitely. Okay, now the challenge is onto something new. Oh, whoa, what's we got a, happening over here, Doc? It looks like the, the lower part of the body, I oh, believe. Oh, right, uh, yep, down by the tail. Okay. Yeah, he did cut them in halves. Iron Chef is not doing that. 
Right. Fukuzan? Yes. I asked challenger Miyamoto his opinion of Iron Chef Chen and he replied, he is my lifetime rival. He says he thinks he's gotten even better since becoming an Iron Chef and quote, today is the day we're going to decide some of that unfinished business of three years ago. Sure is. <laughs> this is the day they find out who deserves to be rated on top. Miyamoto and Chen, each man winning a silver medal, doing Japan proud in their Shanghai and Sichuan cuisines respectively. And we Expecting each other too. Hmm. You know, there's an earthen pot, a Chinese one, sitting there, right? Uh huh. Uh, yeah. I, saw that. I, I saw think that, that is going to yes. be for some sort of a stew. I mean, it's a very classic carp dish in China. All right. Mm -hmm. And when you're watching this, you know, actually been impressed with both of these guys. And now these two are known for their more or less novel approaches, right? But they're showing me that they also have some in-depth knowledge and skill for the classic stuff Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. So, I mean, that, that just goes to show if you want to create new I'll things, you better have a good grasp of the basics too, you know? That's right. You know, without the basic foundation, you can't give birth to new things. Oh, that's true, too. <laughs> now, Darren Chef there with the uh, tsago. Which is? Uh, oh, sorry, the, the earthen pot. Okay. Yeah, and the Chinese characters are sand and pot, so a pot made out Got of sand, basically. It. All right. And earthen pots, they originated in China, of course. Some yes. spicy-looking contents in that right there. Yes. Do you see the large metal bowl on the challenger side? Let's yeah. see if we can get a shot of it. Here it is. The ingredients in this are soy sauce, sugar, ginger, long onions, star anise, and chempi. All right. Very Chinese, the ingredients in there in that mixing bowl on the stove. Now, what is this going to be? I have no idea. I was wondering <laughs> that myself. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look at that. Mm. Mm. He's cooking it in the bowl. Yeah, <laughs> What's no, that? You never see that. <laughs> uh, it's it's a sauce, though, right? Miyamoto's into bowls, uh, not baseballs. <laughs> so he kind of looks like a ball player, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now Chen here and hmm, some already oh, deep-fried yeah. carp going into the earthen right. pot. Now, he's not going to chop it up into small pieces first. No, this is the traditional way of doing it. All right, and from the Iron Chef, a carp stew on the way. No, I'm really amazed that Chen mm -hmm. can actually do this wow. recipe. He can do anything, yes. <laughs> the broth or soup base in this pot consists of la jiao jian, the hot and spicy sauce, Chinese winter melon, toban jian, hot bean paste, garlic, Chinese broth, fried chicken pieces, and now carp. Mm -mm. You know, the next time I go to his restaurant, I'm going to order this dish. <laughs> is it on the menu? <laughs> I don't think it is. Really? No? Nope. Yeah. I don't think he can do it at the you restaurant. Don't think so. First time to have this? Uh, oh, yeah. I've never even seen this. Almost 100 years, never seen it? <laughs> yeah. Boy, I get hungry just the smell of it. I'm ready to go. You look pretty young for a 100 year old. <laughs> well, he's always teasing me on the baseball news program. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, these carp look so grand. Maybe they've been around for about 100 years. <laughs> <laughs> now, the Iron Chef is ready to add starch to his do, I think, right? Okay, a little thickening there. Okay, and just added it in. Sure. Iron Chef running hot, running free as we near the halfway yeah. point of this carp battle, strictly an affair in the stratosphere of Chinese cooking. And there it is, 30 minutes gone, 30 to go, non stop power play. Besho San, first half, what do you say? Very close. Maybe 4 4 if it were baseball? Yeah, 4 4 is perfect. Where did you get the 4 from? <laughs> just by seeing it. Each team scoring. I haven't tried them yet, though. But uh, half I'll the game have to left. Eat them to really see. Well, the late innings will decide it. No doubt about it. Yes. At the 30-minute call, I asked Iron Chef Chen if he'd be able to finish what he has in mind in 30 minutes, and he said, who knows? I just want to sit down and start eating. It all smells so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does smell great. And look, he has ice underneath. Oh, really? Wow. Okay, so he's chilling that one. Well, I didn't expect this. As doing or cool. My goodness. I'm going to have to say he's uh, going for a salad or something like that. Well, it could be adding more flavor as it cools down, do you think? Mm. Well, this love affair, coy, cooling down, is most seen to at some point. <laughs> <laughs> good point. And well, you can leave that joke alone. Intel. All is fair. <laughs> <laughs> My guess is he's making a cold uh, terrine like item. Uh, that's what I'm guessing anyway. Okay. I'm, I'm not ready to put any money on that yet. All right, I want to keep a clean slate, huh? <laughs> okay, now Chen Sun's preparing some noodles. Are those homemade noodles? Uh, egg noodles? Iron okay. Chef, Chinese mm. egg noodles in the mm. wok there. You know, he could serve these noodles cold and match them with the chilled carp in the uh -huh, sauce. Ah, that's it. You know, yep. That makes sense, yep. right? Lots of sense, that yep. That one could be a terrine like <laughs> item. Right, right, right. Okay, to go with this possibly. Yeah. Yeah, use it like a sauce or a dip perhaps. That'd make for a unique noodle dish. Mm. Hey, the challenger stew is looking great, too. And oh, tofu, 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 dropping yep. some tofu in the stew. Right, now he doesn't want it to disintegrate, which would happen if you had it too early. Yeah? Yes. I told challenger Miyamoto that Iron Chef Chen is making noodles, and his comment was, hey, great idea, but then with a big smile he added, but I have even better ideas, just watch. Back to you. All right, <laughs> we'll be all eyes on that. Miyamoto gonna try and do something to top the Iron Chef's noodle dish, a new pitch, but also commending Chen for the idea. <laughs> And noodles coming off, and we'll see if you two are right. Mm. He'll cool these down. And go with the chilled carp. Here we go. Yes. Up, oh, yes. moving over yep. this way. Uh, 
Uh, where's he taking these? Uh oh, swing and a miss, perhaps? Oh, no. <laughs> Not too sure. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, hang on. It's cool, okay. right? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Nah, we nailed it. We nailed it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Look how they're cooling it, too. Just like for s the rice for sushi, oh, oh, right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Not fanning the flames, but uh, the noodles. And look at them in hey, unison. Pretty first, cool. First time we've seen that. <laughs> yeah. Look at the challenger now. Oh, he's rolling it all yeah, up together. in a carp fillet there. Oh, oh, roll. Okay. roll. Okay. Some uh, flour on it, long onions. What's the orange stuff? What is that? Uh, egg yolk. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is right. egg yolk. Okay, well, this is actually just uh, salt egg. Salt egg? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, well, it's basically it's boiled duck eggs cured in salt. Incredible. <laughs> uh, just for a short while in the fridge? I believe so, yeah. Okay, and that's on top of the long onions in there, rolled up in carp. Okay. Now with this, I guess they're going to fry them, right? I mean, looks like that, there's some flour that they're being coated with. Mm -hmm. Still haven't seen them, though. Use the uh, sliced almonds. Well, you can't rule it out yet. He might add them to this right now with the beaten eggs and then the almonds instead of breadcrumbs. Oh, almond slices. Possible. That's yep. a good idea. Bingo. Oh, here right we there. go. <laughs> Sliced <laughs> almonds, and now he is coating the carp rolls with them, and uh, rolling, rolling there, and well, you know, I guess the, they'll be fried. You've heard the term neo-Chinese. Well, this is it through and through. <laughs> yeah, this is the moving yep, yep. ball. <laughs> well, I haven't seen anyone throw this one before. <laughs> All right, now Chen. Uh, he's tearing into the, the small pieces. Yeah. yeah, for the noodles. Just like we mentioned. Okay, got to be oh, with the noodles. Looks yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. What did I tell you? Want another pat? <laughs> <laughs> then again, he could be fooling us here. You never know with him. Trying to nah, hedge nah, a bit, maybe. So. No, you got that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is the challenger using the innards now? Looks like liver to me. I believe you are right over there. Yeah, yeah. I Carp liver. Believe it's part of the belly. Well, uh -huh. the meat there, yes. Yeah. Ah, uh, the fried stuff. Yeah. Fried okay, earlier, okay, yes. Okay, okay yes. the fried fillets. Yeah, stir fried them in the sauce he was making in the bowl. Well, oh, that could be, yeah. The ones with the star dust in them, you know. Uh, uh, we are uh, star excuse dust. me, excuse me, star anise. Star anise. <laughs> just messing oh, with that the, one. Okay. Just messing with the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think so too. With lemon juice, though. Lemon juice. Oh, looks so good. Look at that. Oh, a little bit of steamed rice. Wouldn't that be perfect oh, together? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Bring on the rice. Hold it. Uh, uh, either of the two chefs have any rice? We haven't heard anything about point. that yet. Yeah. Oh, just noodles, yeah. noodles. Right. So okay, these I'm a little noodles confused will be here. Added noodles somehow. in the center, maybe. Yeah, yep, there we the go. Plate, noodles yeah. in the center. Okay. Uh, so the sauce, the jelly-like sauce? So this, right. Okay, so uh -huh. then the, the sauce will go right in there, right? Okay, so mm -hmm. looking like mm -hmm. this, not quite what I was anticipating, mm -hmm. this one. No, he's being very, very intricate today, isn't he? Now, how would you eat this? Uh, well, the noodles and sauce together, yeah. maybe sandwiched with bread or really? on top okay. of bread mm -hmm. or something, like an hors d'oeuvre or, mm -hmm. or a canapé. Okay, or putting it together right now. Well, it's very pretty. And mm. three rows of flavors there. You know, he's a pro. He always makes it look good. No, I, at, at home, we just dump it all into the bowl. He's still slicing the fish. Ten minutes to Ten go. minutes left. Wow, what now, this is for frying for sure. Right. Yeah. And just look at the way he's slicing. No yeah. doubt. Mm -hmm. Slicing job tells you it's going to be fried. Right. And you know, the batter will go in and then the meat will, will open up. Huh. I'd just make the flavors penetrate better. Right, 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 yeah. All right, well, I tell you, a rookie might slice all the way through. Uh -huh. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Miyamoto on top of it, a fine touch. Very here. impressive. Now... Where's this going? Hold, what do we have here? What uh, is eggs? it? Uh, that's a challenger's challenger eggs, right? side, right? Yeah, eggs. And yeah. not eggs. If it were not. eggs, it would uh, harden Hold up on. or something. Right. Mm. Uh, Color looks like eggs, but I don't think I don't so. Know. Oh, I don't there know. it is. Orange juice. Orange juice. <laughs> How about that? sweetness? What? Oh. The sliced up carp and orange juice to go together. Okay. Iron Chef is on to something new here. Let's see here. He's going to fry this now. Oh, definitely, yeah. Now, this will be the one with the sweet sauce. Yes, yes, a whole fried fish. Okay, and check out the cuts into that. Yeah, and for sure, this is the one with the, yes. with the sweet sauce. He's making yes. slits in and then even smaller slits into right. the folds. Yeah. Take a look at the slow-mo here. Mm, well, now that makes it easier to cook, even the bones. Ah, oh, that's what it's all about. Yeah, exactly. Okay, a major cut in, pull it open, and then two or three cuts into the fish. The first right. cut is the deep. <laughs> and it allows the heat to penetrate really deep into the fish. Mm. All right. Okay. Now over here. Ooh, what's that? Is that soft roll? Stir frying the soft roll. Oh, wow, looks good. Oh, it's wait. some garlic, I believe, a gentle stir fry. Right, yeah. Wow. Mm. Picking up a nice whip of that one, too. But uh, what about the sliced filet that they had over there? Good point. I don't, I don't see it anywhere. Possible this is it? Oh, that could be. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, so this is it. 
Okay, now the Iron Chef is coating the carp with flour. Get back there. Yep, right uh -huh. there. And fried with the sweet and sour sauce. Yes. Uh, that's not a guess. It's, it's decided. Of course, yes. Man <laughs> alive, getting down and dirty with that one. Sticky fingers and all right there. Yeah, watch this. If he does it right, the meat will actually turn up. Right. Really? It, oh, yeah. it almost becomes like plated armor. Okay. <laughs> now on this side, Miyamoto beginning a deep fried job. Okay, he's frying them. The, the rolls. Almond sliced coated rolls. That's right. right. Inside, long onions and the salt cured duck eggs and yep. wrapped in a fillet of carp being deep fried. Yep, that's, that's pretty it. much sums it up, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and you pour the oil over it just like you right, here. All right, here's Chen. Now, now you have to repeat this, okay? Grabbing it by the tail. Right, and eventually those slits will, will open up and actually turn up. Mm -hmm. And if you dip it in right away, the slits won't turn up enough. So you, you have to do it in two steps. Okay, two steps for the hot oil bath. Yeah. Now this is also a classic technique, right? Exactly. This is pretty much the basic thing to do in, in frying large fish. And not just carp either. Guys, remember this. Mm. You know, in Chinese kitchens, they do it like this, and they hang them up by the tails. You've probably seen it. Once opened. Then they, they just dip the whole thing. Right. You can see what he's doing there. Okay, yeah. and uh, that one getting everyone's yes, attention. Yes. <laughs> Seeing that in action okay. there. But now again, you won't be able to use this much oil at home. That's a very good point. All right, now, Miyamoto on in the walk there at the front section with the head and... All that tofu is melted away? Yeah, the tofu got soft. Almost like a cream of tofu. Mm. Well, I'm sure he meant it that way. Okay. Oh, look at the Iron Chef. He's finished frying. All right, back over there, Chen. Yes, sir, done deal with that two-step frying effort. Yeah, and he'll now make that sweet and sour sauce that we we're okay, talking about. saving that five for the end. And now five go. minutes left. You'll have to get a sweet and sour sauce started and finished in the last five minutes of the battle now. Miyamoto sauce. Ah, the fried soft roe. Right. Oh, right, yeah. Ooh, looks like anglerfish liver. <laughs> soft roe on top. Correct, and the yep. sautéed carp filet below. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. All right, so on this side, challenger Miyamoto electing to use some of the innards of the fish. Iron Chef Chen, haven't seen him work any of the innards yet. He's got the noodles, uh, the one with the sweet and sour sauce. Uh, he has a raw item as well. Oh, right, some sashimi there. Sashimi, yes. Okay, yes. one of the three already down there. Right, mm -hmm. yeah. And, oh, okay, this one here. Mm -hmm. Maybe this will be used with a miso-flavored sauce? What do you uh, think? Carp um, sashimi. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Oh, it could be a bit of a spicy version of miso sauce. Maybe. I think. You're, you've got, you're okay, on something right, right here. Yes, miso yes, based yes, sauce. yes. Uh -huh. uh, I can see some oil in okay, it as the well. Okay, we'll find out shortly. Carp sashimi brought to you by Chen. And mm -hmm. that should be, be hot. Quite okay, hot, actually. challenger side now. Now this looks French. Right, presentation <laughs> there. Oh, pretty, isn't it? Lots of visual appeal on that one. A real fusion approach. And I think he'll add that sauce. The orange the, the, sauce? Right, right, yeah. Well, that would make it uh, very French like that. <laughs> mm, 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 yeah, right, right, indeed. exactly. Mm. Now, what's... Oh, here, the Iron Chef. The Iron Chef. Take a look. Okay, oh. Oh, pouring it on now. Pouring okay, it the on. sweet and sour <laughs> yeah. sauce. Oh. Fried carp soaking that up. Okay, now the, the Chinese for this is Tang Tzu Tat Piyu. Not even going to try and repeat that one. <laughs> anyway, it's a classic <laughs> it carp is. dish. That's yeah. the important thing. Delectable <laughs> looking, right. too. Now, in Pekingese food, the sauce is red but transparent, right? Mm. Okay, but this must be the way you bring it in Szechuan exactly. cooking. Exactly. And that one by the Iron Chef looking great. Fried carp with sweet and sour sauce. Even Chen looking pleased at the results. <laughs> And back with Miyamoto, still working the walk in one of the apparently two stews that he'll have, mm -hmm. adding even more flavoring elements to that one. And a little over a buck and a half left on the clock. Uh, he had a ginger juice, I think. Yeah, okay, and the aroma's wafting from both sides oh, of the kitchen. So, so great today. <laughs> All right, there's his orange juice sauce. Assume that'll be going with the French-looking fried one. Challenger Miyamoto there, having just unloaded that one. One of the stewed dishes, Chen now. And look at the sweat so hat, my goodness. He's been busting it from the get-go today. And taste testing, refining to the end. And now a minute to go, the final 60 seconds. Miyamoto firing up the stove once again. High heat being brought to bear here. Right, this is another uh, earthen pot one. Both sides resorting to Chinese earthen pots for some stewed carp offerings. Top part, some long onions added right there. This is for one person? No way. <laughs> this is for everyone, right? Yeah, for at least five people. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to handle that one on your own, Beshul San, but he'll be uh, dispensing <laughs> servings for the five <laughs> tasters from that. In less than 30 seconds left in this one. Chen now starting to bring it in on cruise control, while Miyamoto, they're still scrambling over there on his side. He's done a great job handling the uh, situation, cooking in this format. Haven't seen any go. mistakes, no reports of any mishaps. Chen riding with the top Ten down, riding to with go. the king, the king of fish in Chinese cuisine. Carp, his Szechuan, the challenger Shanghai, Three, and a flurry two, to the finish. Miyamoto's one. orange juice sauce being unloaded in the final seconds, and that's it. The carp battle is over.
Now, you seem to be in control the entire time. Oh, no, no, it was tough until I got used to it. The last 15 minutes, right, yeah. a little hurried, huh? Uh, Carp was uh, very fresh. So are you confident of a win against your old rival? He's the Iron Chef, um, so a win would be very nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's another wild one for the books today. I don't use carp normally. <laughs> Not used to dealing with them, huh? Pressure was on. Yeah. But you seem to be very pleased and proud of what you prepare. Well, I tried to remember the flavors of carp dishes I had when I was small. Oh, I see. That and, and other typical Szechuan recipes, that's right. what I put in today's dishes. Uh -huh. I didn't go beyond boundaries, though. I kind of stayed in my own area I see. this time. Uh -huh. Miyamoto-san concentrated on Shanghai. Food. Right, right. I think we were both correct. Uh, yeah. Challenger Miyamoto is offering five dishes. First, carp and herbs appetizer, which features a combination of fried filet and soft roe. The soft roe does a surprisingly nice job of adding natural sweetness to the filet. Second, fried carp with almonds. Tasters will roll it up in lettuce to enjoy it. The coating of fried almonds adds a pleasant, crispy texture to the tender fried carp inside. Stewed carp tail, a Shanghai classic served in a soy-based sauce. Chinese rice wine masks the smell of the fish, while long onions and Chinese parsley add great aroma to a marvelous creation. Fourth, sweet and sour carp orange sauce, one that could pass for French in appearance. The carefully fried carp meat and the well-executed orange sauce both demonstrate Miyamoto's level of skill. Last is Chinese carp stew. The broth taken from the head of the carp and the gelatin just under the skin of this fish are absolutely sensational. And with his fifth dish, Challenger Miyamoto completes his mission using all parts of the carp in his dishes. Iron Chef Chen is offering four dishes. Lead off dish for the Iron Chef, his appetizer, carp sashimi, Szechuan style. The cucumber and radish under the raw slices of carp accentuate its texture heightening the tasting experience. And the hot and spicy miso-based dip is simply spot on for raw slices of this fish. Second is carp terrine noodles, an innovative one-of-a-kind offering from the Iron Chef Chinese. The firm gelatin will melt in the taster's mouths, making for a wonderful match with the cool noodles. The cucumbers and toast add texture and soak up the sauce. Fried carp with sweet sauce, offering three different layers of texture. The thick sauce, the crispy fried skin, and the tender filet inside, the flavors of which are all skillfully condensed. Last, hot and spicy carp stew. Chen also choosing to utilize an earthen pot for a classic Szechuan carp stew. The hot and spicy sauce is boosted with a touch of bitterness added, maximizing its depth. It's also penetrated the winter melon bits in the stew. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the carp battle are former lower house member Shinichiro Kurimoto, actress Chizuru Azuma, baseball commentator Takehiko Besho, and culinary critic Asako Kishi. First, the dishes of Challenger Miyamoto. Oh, this is so good. Mm. It's called soft roe, yet uh, it really has a firm texture that goes uh, surprisingly well with this filet. It's not just sweet, it's kind of a, well, you could say a, a noble sweetness. <laughs> it's very good, yeah. The way you fried it is perfect. Uh. On top of the quality ingredients, I was impressed with the way it was cooked. I know you're a pro, but uh, in our view, this is really amazing. Very good. The aroma of the almonds is strong, and the flavor of the exo sauce is quite unique, covering up the carp, which I'm not sure is good or bad. I was uh, wondering about that, and then I was hit by the flavor of the carp. Wow, what a mysterious dish. And Miyamoto now serving the stewed carp with the soy-based flavor. Those who love carp will love this. But it does have a bit of the smell of freshwater fish. With the coriander and long onions, it doesn't bother me, but they do overpower the carp in flavor a little bit. 
そして、うん、小骨。And the small bones are <laughs> quite offensive. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a battle right My now. My style is、uh, Shanghai and、uh, Chen San is、uh, Sichuan, you know? So today I adhere to recipes speaking of my style. So pretty. Very pretty. The melons are quite effective in my view. The melon, you know?、Uh -huh. The bell peppers, the ones underneath, they're not just for decoration, they really add to the overall experience, I mean, texture wise, too. That's a masterpiece. It's great. You could say another fried dish, but it's different. Yeah, the texture and the flavor, of course. This orange sauce is sweet and sour and、uh, refreshing. Fried carp with sweet and sour sauce is classic, but you made it so beautiful, adding a noble touch and fashionable, too. And now, serving the last dish, his second stew. The skin. Is ever so soft. Very good. Carp skin is full of gelatin. That was good. Well, this confirms the depth of Shanghai cooking for me. And boiling, stir frying, and now stewing in a soup. Oh, this is just wonderful. And now up the dishes of Iron Chef Chen. Well,、oh, this is great. It doesn't have that smell at all. And I really appreciate the size of the slice. And the miso dip, it's so great. Well, I'm content today. I love this spicy sauce. So nice.、Ah. I've never had a Japanese dish like this before. The moment the gelatin melts in my mouth is so nice. The skin of the carp is so good. The soft texture and the flavor is just right. And, you know, eating this with rice right after the gelatin melts on the steaming rice? Oh, yes. That'd be good. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That'd be good. The carp with sweet sauce now. Let's see how it goes down with the tasters. The skin. Is crispy and nice, and the sweet sauce is just right for me. I like it this sweet, personally. Well, I, I was waiting for something sweet and sour like this <laughs> sashimi and then the gelatin. You know, I, I was expecting something like that、uh, at, this, at this point. This is so good. Chen now dishing out the hot and spicy stew, his last dish. It has such deep flavor. This is what carp is. The first dish today that's true to the fish. The flavor from the head with a bit of、uh, bitterness,、mm, but not irritating at all.、Mm. This is what carp is, I said to myself when I tasted it. The smell of this has something similar to that of matsutake mushrooms. Am I wrong? <laughs> <laughs> It's difficult to describe this aroma. Like matsutake mushrooms.、Yeah. <laughs> Never had anything like this. It's matsutake, right? <laughs> Matsutake, well, I'm not sure if it's matsutake, but it does really smell like the spores of mushrooms. Mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms. Okay, okay. Yeah, a very high level, I'd say. There was nothing we didn't like or hesitate to comment on. I think everyone, including myself,、uh, ate a lot today. And no one wanted to save their appetite for the later dishes. I think that says a lot about how good they were. Today, a classic ingredient for Chinese cuisine with these two chefs in each dish taking this fish to new heights. Challenger Miyamoto, a delightful Shanghai surprise in every bite. Iron Chef Chen, Sejuan to the end. Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? Tezin Chinkish! It's the Iron Chef Chen dropping Miyamoto, winning it!
Smith defeating his Shanghai cuisine rival. And what a battle this one was today. Miyamoto with one of the best efforts we've seen from a challenger and the relief evident for the Iron Chef. All right, let's check the scores. Kurimoto, 20 to 19 Miyamoto. Best show, 1918 Iron Chef. Azuma, 1918 Iron Chef. And Kishi, 1918 Iron Chef. Chan wins it three to one. Every vote, just a single point difference, but good enough to be number one. Iron Chef Chinese, Chen Kenichi.